some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. You know, if you ever wanted to know if dumbass Elmo has any remorse for violating people's rights and acting like an arrogant asshole toward everybody, well, this is that evidence that he has no remorse toward anybody. As he posted this particular video of a sheriff who recently talked about the uh, trespassing of... Uh, him and his little butt buddy from a uh, building recently. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and listen to what this uh, sheriff has to say about the incident, shall we? Hi, I'm Sheriff McGill here to give you some information in reference to something that took place yesterday. On 10-30-24, NCSO responded to a call at the Knight County Planning Department in reference to two subjects video recording the office and customers and causing a disturbance. Yeah, he's talking about Dumbass Elmo, who is the one on the right, and uh, Liberty Lens Audits, who's the uh, girlfriend to Dumbass Elmo at this point, pictured here on the left. So tell me something, Liberty Lens Audits. Uh, why are you doing what you're doing with Dumbass Elmo, considering he's not a very good person if you look at his criminal record? He has domestic abuse charges, other things like that. He hates women. He hates freedom of speech. I mean, you can tell that right off the bat. But why are you with him anyway? These subjects were reported to be verbally pushy and inserting themselves into the private transactions involving citizens by recording the conversations and attempting to view their documents. Well, sir, it's just par for the course for these dumbass frauditors, considering that uh, this is just one big game to them. They want to collect as much information that they can get a hold of and sell it to those online that would benefit greatly from it for identity theft purposes. I mean, isn't that what frauditors want to do anyway? I mean, they put such great effort into uh, trying to film in places that they don't need to be filming in, where there's the information like this floating around. It kind of makes you wonder now, doesn't it? A deputy arrived, and they identified themselves as, quote, media, but refused to give their names. The conduct used by the males was that of what is referred to as First Amendment auditors. They push the limitations of the First Amendment with the intention to antagonize law enforcement, then edit their videos to portray us at, at, to portray themselves as victims. And their editing and commentary is not that great because anybody with half a brain can see that they are attempting to portray themselves as victims in these videos. And this may be very well related to the boy who cried wolf. In this particular scenario, you've got people who act like victims in this one video or two videos or anything like that. And people might believe you. But when you do it hundreds of times, uh, yeah, it becomes the boy who cried wolf. That's for sure. The subjects then posted their highly edited video to a social media site and narrating it to make it look like the deputies and sergeants responding did things wrong. Over the last 24 hours, our dispatch has received hundreds of calls, voice messages, and emails from all over the country complaining about how the situation was handled. Yeah, from their sycophantic, brain-dead sheeple that don't even understand one iota of the law themselves. Much like our frauder friends that were in this video. It just comes right down to a bunch of poorly educated morons watching a couple of other poorly educated morons. Who end up taking it to the extreme in the end. By wallowing in their own ignorance and call flooding a place that, well, did the right thing to begin with. These calls and messages have been verbally abusive, vulgar, and threatening to our staff. I have consulted with the Nye County District Attorney who has assured us who has assured us that the actions taken by our staff to remove the subjects from the location was not a violation of the First Amendment rights of the subjects. Quite the contrary, the subjects themselves violated the privacy rights of the customers of the planning department. The responding units exercised good discretion and didn't arrest the subjects for the two criminal violations they committed in the office. 
The Knight County Sheriff's Office Administration is in full support of our staff who handled this interaction. Thank you. And I like the fact that this uh, sheriff did support his men in this particular action. But you know what? Given the title that Aselmo put on the video, I don't think he would agree with that. In fact, he says that this sheriff is a failure at this point, according to what this title says right here. But you know what, dumbass Selmo? The only failure I see around here is you. You are a complete and utter failure at life. Even the other frauditors that you've dealt with don't want anything to do with you. And as far as you go, Liberty Lens Audits, my suggestion to you is run as far away from dumbass Elmo as you can. Drop him and actually get a freaking job. Get away before it's too late, if it's not already too late, and get your life back on track. Just to take a lesson from Big West Audits and he'll tell you it's not worth it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?